Let's get to this top story right here at 5 a.m. Two grand jury investigating Donald Trump, as Mike was just talking about, over alleged hush money payments made to adult film star Stormy Daniels will meet today. They could be voting on whether to issue an indictment on Trump, which would mark the first time a former president's ever been prosecuted in the history of the United States. Now, the news of a possible indictment has rallied supporters of the former president to many of them have set up along Southern Boulevard right near Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate to show their support. This has been seen over the past couple of days. It has. So WPTV's Derek Lowe has also been out there for this week. And Derek, any indication those groups will be back today? Megan Ashley, good morning. Or, uh, demonstrators say until this is settled that they're going to continue making their voices heard and continue to support the former president. Right now at this time of the morning, nobody is here. But if anything, like the last two days this week, we do expect that to change later on this morning. On both Monday and Tuesday of this week, supporters of Trump gathered here with large flags with his face on them, some even armed with megaphones. They say their demonstrations, a demonstration is in response to the criminal charges that Trump is facing and that this is a witch hunt investigation to try and keep Trump from running in 2024. We feel it's just continuation of the left wing prosecution going after our president. This should not be going on. It's wrong and he didn't do anything wrong. Right now, there is no uh, possible word on if that indictment could come down today. We know that Trump took to his social media network, Truth Social, over the weekend, citing that he would be arrested yesterday, citing media sources and leaks. You know, Derek, more to come on this. We can hear some voices around you. Uh, we suspect that's probably other media crews out there. Like you said, no, uh, you know, people, demonstrators, supporters out there at this point, but we do expect that could come very soon. All right, Derek Lowe reporting live. Derek, thank you. While the nation too waits for that possible indictment, many are wondering if it would hurt Trump's popularity, but polls following other recent controversies show opinions of the former president don't usually change much. So according to a poll by NBC News, immediately after the January 6th attack on the Capitol, Megan, Trump's favorability rating fell by just 3% at that time. Okay, just 3%. A lot of people would say that's not too significant. So that NBC News poll also found very little movement in Trump's numbers following the August 2022 search for classified documents at his Mar-a-Lago estate. So days after the search, the poll found his numbers didn't drop, but a poll conducted a month later shows his favorability rating only fell about 2%. Again, not much of a difference, but a slight difference. Meantime, there's new developments concerning the search for those classified documents. Lawyers with special prosecutors investigating the case are now saying that Trump lied to his own attorneys when turning over the documents. The finding, part of a major ruling from the judge overseeing the case, says the Justice Department is arguing it has evidence Trump may have committed a crime. The judge ruled that prosecutors showed that Trump's attorney, even Corcoran's legal advice, was used to further a crime or fraud, so attorney-client privileges did not apply. Meanwhile, Trump's legal team asking a federal appeals court to block Corcoran from testifying again before the grand jury. Corcoran refused to answer some questions the first time he appeared, citing attorney-client uh, privilege. 